It's what you get when you cross a little hotel with a big brand. Hilton Worldwide's latest venture is the answer. The famous chain is trying a new tack here by creating its own string of boutique hotels under the name Curio. I spoke to Hilton Worldwide's executive VP for brands, Jim Holthauser, about the move. As a company, we have 12 different brands at different price points that, that, that deliver various kinds of experiences for our guests, right? Some are more appropriate for conventions, others for resorts, others for highway locations, this and that. So this one's going to be a, a bit of a, of a collection of a lot of different kinds of hotels. Is this responding to a different need from the customer? Does the customer necessarily want a more bespoke local feel, if you like? That's definitely a trend. Uh, more and more customers are, are wanting things that are more local, more authentic, but at the same time, they want the security of, of a brand, right? To know, what to, they want something that they can trust and they know what they're going to get. So it's really a balance. It must be quite difficult getting that balance right between knowing which shampoos to expect, which facilities and comfort factors they can expect from a big brand like Hilton, but also having the interesting features that make it local. Brands are promises, right? They're a promise that you make to a group of customers. And so what, what you're trying to do is put enough uniformity into your brand so people know what to expect, right? And at, at the same time, you want to be able to weave in local elements. How much of this comes in response to the desire for the sharing economy, if you like, Airbnb, people renting out their rooms? Is this also in response to that? Airbnb is a little bit different. You know, Airbnb's customer is more the economy customer right now. Their customers tend to be millennials, and they, and they tend to stay largely in economy hotels. So we don't think this is impacting the major brands so far, but something we're keeping a very close eye on. And quite frankly, it's, it's a model that we can learn from. One of the interesting aspects about your business model vis-a-vis -vis these boutique hotels is that you're not planning on owning these hotels outright. It's largely a licensed business, isn't it? Why? If you look at our entire portfolio, we're almost 4,200 hotels strong in 92 countries around the world. We actually own relatively little of the, of the real estate itself. It's really not our strategy. What we bring as, as, a, as a company is we bring the branding know-how and we bring all the sales and marketing and distribution engines.